We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, Switzerland, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Professor Jian Song of Tsinghua University. He's just been named the editor-in-chief of, of ICT Discoveries, which is a new ITU journal to be launched in September. Professor Song, welcome. And I wonder if you can tell us a little bit about ICT Discoveries. Yes, sure. Uh, this journal is going to be known as ICT Discoveries. And this journal is going to be scholarly, professional, and peer-reviewed. And it's going to publish the original research on the technical development of ICT and their legal and regulatory, policy, economic, social, and other dimensions. We believe that this multidiscipline, multidimensional approach fully reflects ITU's broad field of interest and explores the convergence of ICT with other disciplines. And am I right to assume that the unique selling point of this journal is that it's not just the technical aspects of ICT development, but also the legal and the policy aspects? You're absolutely right, Matthew. Yeah, we believe that this is the unique selling point of this journal. We would also like to say that this comprehensive interest of the field actually is the unique advantage of this journal. And through this uh, comprehensive, diverse, and mandate membership representing the government, industry, academic, and research institute, we'll be able to have a good impact. Another setting point of this journal will be that the contributors may have influence on ITU's work. And also, if the contributions is accepted, it can eventually translate into the related work within the United Nations systems. And another thing we believe that is the, this journal, the state member can benefit from this journal by identifying the technical trend and aligning their development strategy with the ICT roadmap of UN through ITU. And can you tell us a little bit more about the format of the journal and the communities you aim to reach? Uh, yes, sure. This one is going to be electronic version, which is open access. That means all the articles will be available for download free of charge. We tend to think this is the most important thing. And also, we believe that the ITU can do this dissemination through its membership, which compromise of 193 member states, over 700 uh, private sector entities, and over 140 academic and research institutes. And what can we expect from the first issue of ICT Discoveries? Uh, yes, it's going to be exciting. I'm telling you, Matthew, yeah, it's going to be launched in September. As you mentioned, it's going to be at the ITU Telecom World in Busan, Korea. And this special issue will focus on artificial intelligence uh, with the relevance of AI on the telecommunication networks and services. Uh, we tend to believe that readers will get to know the novel applications of AI to the performance and efficiency improvement for the, network for the communication networks, uh, create new services, and ensure the optimum user experience. We encourage the researchers active in AI area to seriously consider how they might contribute. And if you want to know further information, please contact us directly or watch closely on the website of ITU. It's very exciting. I think we all look forward to reading the first edition. Thank you very much, Professor Song. Thank you, Matthew.